Karen, well played. It was a big, big win tonight. Yeah, it was it was massive for us. I thought the team were exceptional. I thought we come together. We've had a difficult season, um, but we came together tonight, and um, you know it was a, a really good result. And you know Bristol are a really good team, and it's just someone has to be where they are, um, and it could have been us. Um, but, you know they got fantastic support, some really really talented players, um, and, and the manager superb. So you know it's still not over, um, but tonight we're obviously thrilled with the three points and and the three goals and a clean sheet. It seems strange given the number of games that the club's played in, big games over the, la over the last few years, but it, it, was this as big as any of them tonight? Yeah, every game is important in this league. Um, you know, we've still got two more games to go and it's, it's still not over and it's still not safe, but it, it was the most important game at this point in time. Um, but, you know, and, and that gives a lot of credit to Bristol um, and they had a lot of good chances and I don't think the scoreline actually reflects it, um, how well they played and the chances they had and how well our keeper did tonight. So, um, but again, the team were fantastic and we're thrilled and hopefully we'll get another win or another point or something to give us that little bit of security. I was just going to come on to so touch on what you said then. Um, the first half hour, they were, they were probably the better side, had the better of things, but really the turning point was that fantastic save from Sophie Bagley because that ball, that shot from Bobo Sayer was arrowing right inside the fire post. She got her fingertips to it. You know, she's a young kid and she just stepped in the shoes of, of Becky Spencer, who's a fantastic goalkeeper that we sadly miss. But, you know, she stepped up. She's young, she's fearless, and, and what a save that was. She's worked so hard for the last year. She's been around our squad, had to wait her time. And she's coming in, and she's for me. She was player of the match, mm. and she was outstanding tonight. And um, you know, she, I'm just so pleased for her. So difficult for a young kid to step up in a big pressurised game, and she was fantastic. And a good finish from Mel though to put you in front. There was a lot of pressure running through on goal. She really took that coolly, didn't she? Yeah, she's been working on her composure after training, and obviously the hard work has paid off. So we were thrilled for her, and it's good confidence for her going forward in the last couple of games and in the Continental Cup. But um, she has been working really hard after training, and you know we've been grilling her a little bit to have that little bit more productivity in that final third. And you know she certainly showed her senior players how it's done tonight. So um, you know we're thrilled for her too. And naturally you're pleased as well to get on the score sheet, albeit with two penalties. I don't, I don't think you'll care to take them anywhere they come, don't you? No, I mean, it's always difficult taking penalties, um, you know, and obviously I had the negative experience of it last season, um, but, you know, it's um, it's always nervy, but, um, you know, and, and, and obviously um, Mary's a fantastic goalkeeper, so it's it's always nervy, but, um, you know, I'm thankful um, that they went in and, and, and the team now have got three points, but, um, you know, it's just more than those penalties, those fantastic saves, the, the clearance from Jess Carter yeah. on the line. Um, and obviously the finish from Mal and the headers from Woody's and Joe getting on the ball is, you know, it's been a fantastic team performance, and I think the goals were were good about that as well. But you see, next week you get a chance to take a break from the pressure of the relegation battle. We have to still say that at the moment. We got a chance in the cup, and a nice easy game against Chelsea home in the cup. No, Chelsea are high flying. Um, you know, got a lot of time and respect for the team, um, and obviously the manager who I used to play for. And I know they're not going to be an easy ride. Um, but, you know, we're, we'll prepare properly. It's a fantastic opportunity to progress in another cup competition. Um, and I think the fans deserve that. We're not going to take our eye off, our foot off the gas just because it's not the league. Um, and the fans have been absolutely amazing today. Um, we've come all this way and they really were the, the 12th man for us on the side. Um, so we're going to give it our best shot, prepare. And no, it's a cup competition, anything can happen. But then our attention after that will focus primarily on that league. Uh, over the last few months, you've probably gone through every emotion going, I think, in football, whoever you've been playing for. Just nice tonight it was probably one of the better nights, even taking England's success into account. Yeah, it's nice. I think everyone's tired, mentally tired, and literally crawling over the finish line now. And, and that's not because we don't want to play. It's just been a really challenging year, emotionally, physically, and everything. So um, we just want to do right by the club and do right by the fans and each other and you know hopefully it will end out a good season for us um, but it has been taxing and tiring um, but no doubt that we always give 110% in anything that we do. But there's just looking at it now after that result it's all in your hands now one win in the last two games and the worrying's over. Hopefully hopefully <laughs> um, but you know back to Conte Cup now focus on that and then back to Lee but you know Notts County are a great team and, and then again we play Arsenal who are fl you know going for the league I don't know how they got on today but they you One, know two, no. there you go yeah. so um, you know they're going to be going for the title as well so it's those two games are extremely difficult so all this hard work could be for nothing if we don't prepare and 
um, turn up with the right attention to detail. So obviously we're thrilled tonight and bring on the continental cup. Well, we let you celebrate today. Well done, Karen. Thanks for talking to us. Well played today on the win, and we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Cheers, Karen. Thanks.